Number 43, find the current through a loop needed to create a maximum torque of nine Newton meters. The loop has 50 square turns uh, that are 15 centimeters on the side and is a and is in a uniform 0.8 Tesla magnetic field. All right, so first um, to understand the concept here, I went through a nice analysis in number 42. Okay, so um, all I'm gonna do here is kind of just plug, plug and chug, so to speak, because that's all this requires. All right, so please though check out number 42 for the concept. So um, uh, torque on a current carrying wire will equal the number of turns of that wire multiplied by the current traveling through the wire, multiplied by the area, multiplied by the strength of the magnetic field, multiplied by the sine of the angle between the magnetic field and the normal of the area. What's the normal? Check out 42. So all I now need to do is if we're asked to find the current, we got to divide everything that isn't current here over to the uh, left-hand side. So bring the N on over and bring this all on over. Right, so there it is. So what's the torque? They told you it's nine Newton meters. What's the number of turns? They told you it's 50. What's the area? Well, they told you it's a square and that it's 15 centimeters on a side. So that's gonna be 0.15 because you need that in meters and square it because that's how you calculate the area. The magnetic field then is going to be 0 0.8 Tesla. And then the sine, since at a maximum, it would be nine degrees. So relative to the normal, it's nine degrees. What does that look like? Check out number 42. And here we go. So nine divided then by 50 times 0.15 squared times 0.8. Close those parentheses basically, and because sine of 90 is just one, so that works out to be 10. 10 amps would be the current. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Please remember to help us out and subscribe if you can. It allows us to help produce more videos, and I will see you soon. Take care.